ladies and gentlemen, the action has begun. Our low pressure system has moved into the Gulf. And now is the time to watch or stay updated every six hours if you are on the Gulf Coast. This brought to us by the Weather Tap. The latest update from the NHC states that a broad area of low pressure has developed across the northeast Gulf of Mexico. That shows up on Weather Tap's radar lab as the L in northeast Gulf. Tropical storms are erupting, but nothing is too organized yet. Stay tuned. Florida and Alabama weather. And my big issue with this, and the reason I've been saying I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hurricane, and there is a great chance it is going to become a major hurricane, Category 3, Category 4, Category 5, is because this thing is scheduled to sit over water anywhere from 24 hours to four days. And so, seeing as Hurricane Barbara went from a Category nothing hurricane to a Category 4 hurricane in 24 hours, there's a good chance you may wake up one morning and this thing is a raging monster. All right, several people have noted that they do not like the comments being off, and I get that. So I'll make you a deal. If we can raise $35 today so I can turn my phone back on after I pawned my guitar amp and my PS4 to pay my electric bill yesterday, I will turn the comments back on. Is that a deal? Uh, just send it to my PayPal, although letters are always super appreciated. Thanks again to Paula and Nancy for the letters I got today. Those always make me happy. Yeah, so HTTPS, I think that's a colon, forward slash forward slash www.paypal.me, Thor News. And turn my phone back on. I'll be more than happy to turn the comments back on. Hey, we got a geomagnetic storm, KP4 index. And when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people freak out. Michael Ventrice is showing us that the latest Deep Thunder model is back showing a very robust tropical cyclone for Friday. A very messy forecast here. And I believe that it will continue to shift east. I use the planetary alignments uh, to do my weather. I use the sun and planetary alignments, and it hasn't failed me much. Um, and so I continue to think it will shift east. I know that I'd mentioned to Apollo, Fitzroy, Billy the Kid, Bradley the G, James. I feel like I'm missing somebody. That if we are threatened by a hurricane, we should get together and have a really cool jam to put a bubble, a cool bubble over Houston. Though I don't have any energy to cat wrangle. But I'm definitely open for a cool jam. But I would guess it is shifting East, but as Planetary Defense Commander, I got to prepare everybody to prepare for the worst, which could be a Category 5. You know, hey man, I call it like I see it. And YouTube doesn't pay me shit for views. Other channels around here siphon my views off and put them on their views anyways. So I earn my living by calling the shots super accurately. And still then it's barely, even though I do a great job. And you guys are tired of me whining about that. I'm tired of whining about that. I'm just saying. So, so here is here is here is the cluster Schnarfugel we're dealing with here. Um, you know, right now our range is anywhere from Miramar, Florida, all the way over to a loop de doo in Texas. Um, I would my range is anywhere from here. This is where I think it's going to go. But like I said, I don't know for sure. This could be the one where my stellar reputation is screwed up because it doesn't turn into a hurricane, nothing happens, and people are like, fake news. Someone was accusing me of calling fake news on this yesterday for saying that it could be a Category 3. And I think uh, as time goes on, you'll see that, yeah, there's a good chance this thing could be nasty. NWS Jacksonville. Collision of storms along St. John's River will move northwest towards Green Cove Springs, Fruit Cove, Orange Park. Wow, saved by the buoyancy of citrus. 
frequent lightning, lightning, whatever. Frequent lightning, gusty winds, heavy rain. We got Jupiter retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Mercury retrograde, and a whole plethora of scientists saying that the planetary alignments don't matter, astrology isn't real, and God is fake. So you could definitely trust scientists. Asterisk, lol, what? I'm trying to ungrumpify. It's difficult. But yeah, so, okay, let's go to the models. Everybody freaking loves those models. And ladies and gentlemen, the GFS model, which was the last one to get on board with a hurricane, is now officially on board. We've got a Cat 1 close to Cat 2 that has moving in near the Texas-Louisiana border. And so all the models are agreeing that this thing definitely has potential to become a hurricane. Although they still have their heads up their butts because I don't see how it can sit over water for a long time and not intensify. We could get a rapid intensification. And it almost looked like there was another one there at the end. Did you see that? These are scary days. Technically, 6.5 years ago, well, I mean, it didn't really happen until around 2015, where I saw the writing on the wall, and I saw you would get major earthquakes, major volcanoes, tons of hurricanes, is when I gave up my full-time job and became Planetary Defense Commander so I could lead us all to unity and to improving our infrastructure, building safe cities and safe places, and working together as one badass America, Americas, and Earth team. Little did I know that they would put both feet pedal to the metal on the divide and conquer and just get everybody mentally foaming at the mouth. But it's always darkest before the dawn, so dawn should be coming any second now. The King European model paints a really bad outlook for Southeast Louisiana Friday night through Saturday into Sunday. Very heavy rainfall. GFS is a little different, but still says heavy rain. Actually, Margaret Orr, the GFS puts it a little west of that and has it as a Category 1, possible Category 2 strength hurricane. So all the models are falling in line that we may have a major hurricane on our hands. Although they aren't getting into the Category 3 territory yet, but give it 24 hours. Remember, I've been doing this since Hurricane Matthew, and I've been doing it well. I know how this chicanery goes down and everybody if we can let's take a minute out to thank levi cohen at tropical tidbits every single time i show you those models from forecast models he is the guy that runs that show he's done a great job and a lot of my work has come out of his so thank you levi i really appreciate it weather twitter team badass dude track forecast for 92l will remain complex due to competing steering influences Vortex sounding from GFS shows southerly steering below 600 millibars, red box, and northerly steering above 600 millibars, blue box. Net effect depends a lot on exactly how strong deep 92L is. It's going to be deep, baby, and it's going to be strong. Am I? Oh. And you know, one of the reasons I turned off my comments was because like yesterday when I reported on flash flooding crippling Washington, D.C. I got a couple people who are like, let him drown. We're draining the swamp. First of all, you don't drain a swamp by flooding it. Second of all, even in the metro area, D.C., there are 6.5 million people. And so for you to throw away 6 million people because you don't like 500 congressmen, that is disgusting. You disgust me. I've watched you let 5,000 people die and say, screw them, they had debt and they have one bad mayor out of 76. Or California fires. And you're like, throw California ocean, learn to swim. You got 18 million Republicans out there, dude. Like, at what point are you going to start to care about Americans instead of your one politician? Oh, does that, does that hurt your butt? You can leave. I want to get back to being likable and funny. And my hurricane's hot streak has to end sometime. Also, I'm 90% sure my gas giant's on the same side of the sun. Theory is correct. And I did hit the 6.5 and 7.1 California earthquake. 
five weeks after I issued my Pacific Coast, USA, and Canada volcano and eruption and earthquake warning on May 22nd, which lasted 2023. And I got to remind y'all, we have a 70% chance of seeing a volcano eruption in California this year and a 95% next year if it hasn't happened. So, yeah. Um, I know Google and Silicon Valley real estate guys don't like me telling you that, but dude, that's what I do is I tell you the truth because I love you and I want us all to work together. And it's weird because like everybody in some level has to be mad at somebody. It seems we're like, I know people who really are mad at poor people, you know, like immigrants or people on welfare or homeless or. Even me, when they're like, get a real job. And I'm like, dude, I just, once again, I just call this hurricane days out ahead of everybody. So I'm really good at telling the truth. It's just the truth doesn't pay much these days. And technically it can get you killed if you start making fun of the fact that science is telling you that oil comes from dinosaur bones when that is not true at all. So missing peace. What's it talking about? And so at times I get upset at really rich people because it's like, A, you guys got to learn to share some. You do. And B, it seems like they're as techian or Spanish Inquisition, and they just want to, they like, they enjoy watching people suffer. I think we're both wrong. We, we shouldn't be mad at anybody. Um, but, you know, I got to tell you this, man. There aren't a whole lot of rich people in the truth community. And if there are, they're all part of Grand Solar Minimum or MAGA. Jonathan Erdman, with key details, track, etc., still to be determined, a threat of heavy rain and flash flooding is in play along northern Gulf Coast and deep south that could persist into early next week, depending on how fast 92L TD2 Barry moves our latest thinking. Thank you, everybody on the Weather Twitter team. I appreciate everyone out there. I want to thank J7409. They were on it like stink on shit. I want to thank BP Earthwatch, even though BP and I's political views rarely line up. I love BP. I always have, and I definitely think he's a good guy. would like to drink a beer with him someday. BP and J749 have been on this really quick. You know that Into the Air has put out a lot of good information. Um, and I think Ice Age Farmer is cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Inter truth community supporting is, is not a real thing. It's like a bunch of gangs fighting with each other. Um, <clears throat> I, I gotta, oh, I guess, but hey, Grand Solar Minimum, and I agree that we're gonna see a lot of earthquakes and volcanoes over the next few years. I think they'd be more accurate if they were to add the gas giant theory and it would help me figure more shit out. We could be working as a team on the pure accurate stuff. But yeah, we both definitely agree. It's just going to be more volcano -y, man. More volcano -y. I can already hear people in the government being like, Volcano tax! Earthquake tax! Your love keeps lifting me higher. The battleships in the sky. Are they yours? Or are they mine? Ben Knoll. New Euro guidance trends slightly east with a track of berries showing landfall in Louisiana on Saturday. As a low-end hurricane, I say take it Easter, and it's going to be more intense than that. Although it still looks scary. Lanes Brew, what are you wearing? I did the nice guy thing for 6.5 years. I don't think that's going to work this hurricane season. I still love a double rainbow, though. I love rainbows. I love you, rainbow. Thomas G-Boy, bringing us a badass lightning strike. Zip. Yeah, man. Rainfall records, smashing. Heat records, smashing. Cold records, smashing. Hail records, smashing. Welcome to One Crazy Summer Odyssey 2019. The earth is a McDLT, where the hot side is hot and the cool side is cool, and it's basically like a lava lamp, so you never know what's going to happen next. And these images come with some poco impactantes, whatever. So yeah, you get flooding into Fala. we got to keep up the cool bubble, boys. 
ladies are welcome too. May Day May, if you want to come down from Austin for our non-existent Houston jam. And that's the thing, dude. Not a single government on the planet has a medium or long-range plan for its people. Everybody agrees all the economic models are unsustainable. And we're watching major cities flood as cars wash away like Dixie cups in the rain. Yeah, saying we got to work together. Adapt to this shit. Eh, maybe you guys will wake up sometime. You're Asteroid Fight Club. You're awake AF. And another thing, but not having comments on, I don't have to get upset when the people are like, stop talking about other stuff and just stick to the weather. I'm like, welcome to Burger King. Can I shit on your burger? I would never put fecal matter or urine on your food. It was a joke. See, I'm old, man. <clears throat> I can remember when you could tell jokes. And you know what? In the Saturn opposition, this was one of the most fascinating things I can remember happening during my 6.5, although it didn't actually happen, but they put the information out after. And so we saw a major storm on Saturn that came from two planetary bodies. It definitely looks like little planet, big planet. What are you doing? You know, Jupiter stuff. And what I love about like 90% of the time, people say the Earth is flat or research flat Earth. Like, I haven't been researching, dude. That's why do you think I'm so big on the space shuttle and the James Webb Space Telescope? Because I can't verify it either way. And so I could just guess that it's round because the moon looks round and then the whole eclipse wouldn't make sense if it's flat. And then there's a lot of strength in hydrostatic equilibrium. But you know, sure, yeah, there's a chance that. The space is much different than anything they ever ever told us. Because it's really dumb that we don't have a bunch of GoPros around Venus and we don't have a bunch of GoPros around every planet, really. We just have a hundred robots around Mars because it's got a bunch of dead dirt. So yeah, dude, you get like those planetary shapes you could see made a storm on Saturn. So clearly the pressure and magnetic fields of the other planets affect each other. There is no balance in our solar system right now. And that's going to be a major problem over time. We're going to see a lot of earthquakes, a lot of volcano eruptions, and a lot of wacky weather. And I guess this means our unofficial partnership is broken up. Cranky weather guy, just once, I'd like to see someone post analysis or reasoning why they think a tropical cyclone to be going to explosively develop and become a major handful until that western high comes east and overhead there's no telling of track proximity to coast thus development i know i get that dude and um but what i'm saying is this a it totally reminds me of hurricane harvey it just sits and it spins B, we have all the gas giants on the same side, which is going to magnify any type of activity. So this is going to be like a Hurricane Harvey, but worse, where Hurricane Harvey stayed over land. This is going to be over rocket fuel waters. And B, and I'm get that's what I'm guessing. You know, it's weird on my hurricane prediction for September and October. I just went from Mexico City Beach and went 210 miles east, which put us here. If you did the same thing, if we do my 210 mile prediction thing, I think that would put it right about here. So even though I think it's coming over here, my 210 mile prediction theory would put it about here. So, but either way, that's like my range is here to here on this thing. And so I think this thing is going to sit and spin from here to here over the next four days. It's not even supposed to make landfall until the 13th. And so I don't understand how anyone can doubt the probability or possibility of this thing rapidly expanding. These are 87 degrees, man. 87 degrees. But hey, the bets are down. The chips are in. And it is in the Gulf. So it is game on, and we will watch it develop, right? Latest wins brought to us by Shay Gibson. Latest wins wrapping around Invest 92L. 
wind and miles per hour. Low to mid-20s, well offshore at the Pensacola buoy. And so now is when it really begins, and we will watch. See, here's the crazy thing. The King Euro puts it at my 210-mile mark on the 14th, which is five days from now. So it will have five days, four days, to strengthen and gain heat. In good news, the Mother of Dragons is still alive and absolutely gorgeous. Her and Emma Watson really know how to wear dark lipstick. And I really appreciate this MAGA dipshit. Total MAGA dipshit trying to troll. I'm going to be referring back to you several times, buddy. It almost looks like an S and an O. And I'd like to clear my brain and not stress out all the time because my hurricane prediction for middle of October, remember what I did is I measured the distance from Nate to Michael and I found 210 miles. And so that's why I put the location here for where Florida is going to get a hit in the middle of October. And so if you do the same 210 miles from the Harvey to Louisiana, that puts us right there. You see that? That's how good I am. And yet, I still have to beg and beg and beg just to get my phone turned back on. Seriously, I'd love any donations or contributions. And hey, Sam, you can make fun of me all you want. It's what you do best, boy. Boy! That and inherit stuff. Cause, but now I, gotta, I need to go back and redo my hurricane predictions for September and October because what if this is a redux of the 2017 hurricane season but worse? Man, this is why, A, I wish I didn't have hackers. B, I wish I had a team. C, I wish I had decent resources. So I could continue to do amazing science against the grain. Anyway, but yeah. Um, it's, and it's better to ask for donations now than when the hurricanes start hitting and people start dying. Yeah, worst case scenario, dude. If this thing sits in the Gulf for... Over 24 hours, it could easily become Category 3, Category 4, Category 5. I think I've been telling you this since the 5th. So, sticking with my guns. And one way that I can earn a living at this is by putting up 25 videos a day. I did 5 yesterday. So, okay, we're getting there. I love you. I'll get, it's set in opposition. I will get past my unlikable phase. And I need to get it all out before the hurricanes start hitting anyways. Okay. Stay cool. All right. Or don't. Like I said, I know last month on Thor News, I think I lost 47 subscribers. And I was like, hell yeah. That is awesome. It's hurricane season. Half you bitches will be back anyways. Okay. God bless everyone. My shadow side says hello. And you got to balance out your shadow side with your light side. But I definitely think the super nice guy is gone. You know, four years of everybody talking about politics nonstop like it was sex, guns, and butter has left everybody. Blah, 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 blah.